Hello. Hi. Hello. Hello. Hi. <laughs> uh, let, let me stop the music. Okay, here we are. <laughs> uh, I forgot how many episodes have we had so far? Fourth or fifth, something like that. <laughs> you should probably know this. <laughs> you're the you're you're the host. You I'm the host. Know. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay. Cool. So let's see. Let's kind of. So what did we do so far? So we have a lambda calculus. Okay. Uh, parser. Yeah. And simplifier slash evaluator something right. We, right. we can simplify terms. But we didn't. Um, implement the rules in the like a type theory um, we don't have them what, what which rules do you refer to i don't know for example how to create lambdas or things like this you know that i mean the one that looks like the natural deduction okay right so we don't have okay so we don't have a type checker but we can evaluate things right so for example yeah. if you if we have a lambda x dot x and we pass yeah. it like y we get y as the result right yeah. but we don't do any type checking we don't do any anything like that right yeah. but we can run it yeah um okay and then we kind of took a break from that mm -hmm. um and we, we're kind of looking at sequence calculus now right why <laughs> Uh, we're looking at sequence calculus because we have a plan. Ooh. And the plan is we're going to use the sequence calculus proof search algorithm yeah. to find terms in lambda calculus. Yay! To find, By implementations, the, yeah. to find implementations for mm -hmm. our program. Yeah, I usually call those language. terms. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And we use sequence calculus because it has better um, proof search uh, properties. Yeah, better algorithm, right? Which yeah. doesn't involve guessing. Guessing or uh, dealing with loops or so on. Mm -hmm. Right? So we don't create loops and we, we don't create loops. Yeah. There are there several is, sequence There calculus. is this? some amount of non-determinism here. But this doesn't mean loop. Sure. I mean, there are several sequence calculus and others could... For example, if you add contraction as a rule in your second calculus, then you create loops for, mm -hmm. for sure. But we use a special sequence calculus, um, which so somehow abs um, absorb all the structural rules in the rules for mm -hmm. connectives, right? And therefore, we avoid this kind of problems. Okay. Right. Cool. So. so okay. You go. So what we have so far is. So today we're going to focus on this sequence calculus, right? We won't go into lambda calculus yet at all. We won't look at the code. We will just focus on, the, on this, right? Because we have a couple of things left to do. Um, right, so last week, what did we do? Okay, so last week we created this file, um, which we defined some types, for example, Maybe formula. You can put, sorry, you can put the link for this. Uh, I forgot. Uh, I totally forgot what this is called. Um, uh, GitHub slash. Hello, Vince. Hey, what's up? Uh, I hope this is the right link. Let me double check before posting it. <laughs> uh, give me one tiny second. Let's see if this is correct. This is not correct. <laughs> Uh, let's try it. I, I'm ready to be confused. Okay, there's a dash here. Wait, did I start the music again? No, bad music. Bad music. Uh, okay, there it is. So LC should not work. Uh, LC with a. E. There Yay. we go. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Hello. No, 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 no. So today we won't do any. Like today we'll, we'll mostly write, do the. Um, Pretty printer, and while we do the pretty printer, hopefully we'll clear things yeah, up. Yeah, maybe we can. Because it will be easier to look at the, the results with a pretty printer, right? So it yeah. will be easier to follow along the implementation and what it does. Yeah. Um, so, right, we have a formula, right? And the formula can have variables and implication. These are the yeah, the, the variable is like you can think of variable like we usually use this with string, right? It will be like A or, a. Uh, or B or whatever, right? Mm -hmm. And this will be something like. Uh, uh, so you have an implication. Implication with variable 
build a and variable b right which kind of means uh, uh how do i say a implies b right uh, we like the challenge i hope you are putting this series oh yeah i am yeah. i, I kind of forgot to upload the last couple of episodes but i'll do that in the next following days i'll upload then all of the episodes, which episodes is this? yeah <laughs> and then I'll, I'll, I'll have the counter right then this is kind of the same thing right so this is a i, I won't write it as, as like in the long term right but this is a and b and this is a or b right yeah. and if you are like if you're more familiar with the those two is just yeah, yeah i know i know it, it discards them after depends if you have to each prime it discards them after 60 days otherwise i think it's like 20 days or something i don't remember or two weeks i don't remember um anyway yeah. um so okay so we have a formula right so so you have this formula right um uh, and like if you're more familiar with like fp which i assume you are then then this then you could probably can easily think of them through the curry hard uh, isomorphism as a function from a to b here as types, uh, right? yeah as a function from a to b as uh, a tuple of a and b and as an either a b right it's like you can definitely think about them like that and they're they're through curry hard they're the same thing um Okay, cool. And then we have some instances. Doesn't really matter. Uh, and then we, I kind of started working on this, and then okay, Didi caught me, and <laughs> then I remembered. <laughs> and now oh, we're supposed to do this together. So I, I stopped. So, okay, let's but see what let's not no. no let's oh. review the, the okay. module first, okay. right? Let's have a look. And this is like the the constructors in the like operator form, just so it's easier to read. Mm -hmm. And then we have we define the sequence, right? So okay, what's the sequence? What we use in second half. Yeah, so a sequent is kind of like a syntactic construct, right? So it's just like some extra syntax uh, on top of a logic or some a logical formula or like, uh, right? Which, which allows you to kind of add some metadata or some like kind of structure it in a certain way, right? And syntactically. And what this basically does is allows us to have a, like, it has an array of formulas and a formula, right? And the way we, we think about this is like we have a hypo, like, um, uh, how should we, how did we call them? Like uh, hypothesis, is that yep. okay? So we have a hypothesis. I think uh, they are called also antecedents and succes. Succedents. Yeah, something. Okay, like that. But Let, let's hypothesis use hypothesis. And conclusion, I think okay, like and then like and this is a list, right? Th these are multiple ones. So this is an array, and then right. th and that's why I pluralized it, right, with an S here. Yes, and you can have the same, um, the same formula can appear several times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's not a set. It's a yeah. like it's a list, it's a, right? Yeah. Uh, or a multiset. Sure. <laughs> it's a list. Multiset. <laughs> uh, and a single conclusion, right? So on the right yes. hand side, you can have a single, like you can think of it as a target or as a type hole, if you will. Like yeah. for example, in in uh, in some uh, implementations of for different languages. And, and this is something specific to intuitionistic logic. Yeah, so you can only you, have a single yeah. target. If you do like. Well, classical logic, then you could have several conclusions. Mm -hmm. But in um, intuitionistic, in, yeah, you have just one conclusion. Okay, uh, and then some instances for this blah blah blah. This is why I could use that. Like uh, this is this right, allowing us to use this instead of this constructor between mm -hmm. like an array and a formula. Um, and then we have a couple of very trivial functions, which kind of but they're interesting because this tells us okay, if you have a sequence right mm -hmm. so well let's start with the other one i think this yeah. one should be first because it's easier to understand uh, and then maybe this is the second one yeah. so if we have a formula right so what, what's a formula it's pretty much a type right you can think of it as a type right you have uh, like uh, a implies uh, b or c or whatever right which means uh, from a you go uh, b uh, either b c or something like that right so we have a formula and we want to what, what happened this. oh yeah it's uh it's <laughs> yeah it's green can go invisible <laughs> Uh, you just need a, a green blanket. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, right. So okay. you, you, if we have a formula, we want to create a sequence, right? Because we work with sequence. Our algorithm is defined in terms of sequence. So we need to go from a formula, which we can easily translate from our types, from our language in, in types yeah, to so a logical the idea, formula. Okay, it was the long, the, the idea. We want to take a formula and check if it is a uh, tautology. Well, okay, the, the idea is this. Or if it has an implementation from... Yeah, yeah. So, from but, but the idea is, okay, so we start from like a type in lambda calculus yeah. and then transform it into a f formula, which should be a one-to-one -one thing, right? It should be yeah, very easy because it. it's, it's just, the same. yeah. Well, it's not literally the same type, but it's like, it's oh, okay, a one-to-one -one yeah, yeah, relationship. I know what you mean, yeah, okay. Yeah, you uh, have to Because we have, uh, I can show you, like, uh, we have our... Uh, Lambda calculus, I think it's syntax here. Yeah. And then we have this thing, right, which is a type. Okay. Right, and we need to go from from formula to to, from type to formula, right? But we have 
This is like symbol. a symbol, yeah. which is literally okay. a variable. We have function, which is implication. And well, they're in yeah. the wrong order. Product and sum, right? So it's yeah. kind of like we have to make an isomorphism between these two things, and but that's trivial to do. It's literally okay. the same. So we will have a formula. Mm -hmm. So we go from type to formula, and then from formula we go to sequent. And using sequent, we have an algorithm to find the proof. Which will be... Or not, right? Or it, not. It, it might fail to find the proof if it does not exist. And this means that we will be, you will be a, able to have an inhabitant for that well, type. Wait, so after we find the proof, we need to construct a lambda term yeah, yeah, but using that proof. You will find out if you can find the term or not. Mm -hmm, yes, so it's like you find zero or more proofs, right? right. And if we find zero, then we will, it will be sorry. just, okay, sorry, this, this is not, we don't know how to implement this. And mm -hmm. this, I think this usually problem is that it cannot be implemented, right? I want to, uh, I want to not discuss sure. this over dinner last night, but then <laughs> our daughter started to make a fun. I mean, you can write, for example, if I take, you could write a function from, I don't know, string to int, which gives you the length of a string, right? Uh, yeah, sure. But that but has a, like our implementation would find an infinity almost implementations for that, right? No. Oh, well. It should. I mean, it depends. We, we don't know how that, like we have no, not implemented constructors yet, right? So yeah. we don't know yet. We, right now we can only write combinators. Yeah. So we, we'll see. Yeah. It, I think it depends on how we handle constructors. Yeah, okay. Um, so we'll see. But yeah, it's either, it will either give us no implementation or an infinity implementations, yeah. right? That, that's it. There's in nothing this, in between. In this, case. in this case, yeah, right? Right, yeah. Uh, there's no in between here, yeah. right? It's not like it's only five. Nope. It, it's no. either yeah. like uh, all the possible numbers as a result, right? Yeah. Uh, or So maybe in our language, our big language, we can just be able to automatically um, define, uh, automatically how do you say, put a definition of s just of some kind of function, so not, the, not all of them. Yeah, we'll see, we'll see about you that. You know what I mean. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. Um, we'll see, I think ideally, like, well, I'd really like it to be able to, for it to be able to find uh, polymorphic things, right, where you don't run into that problem, where you can just, the result can be any value inside integer, right? As long as you have very polymorphic functions, then it's usually a single implementation or very few possible well, implementations. I don't know what you mean by this. Um, so for example, if you take, uh, so l let me give you an example. So if you want to do something like uh, to string or like int to strings, let's say, mm -hmm. right? And you go from int to string, mm -hmm. well, like implementing this will be very, like it's literally, you can implement this with like the result could be any string, right? Yeah. It could be like, you can say it's equal to empty string or to hello or to Vlad or Denisa yeah. or Vince, right? Mm -hmm. uh, but if you do something like uh, show, uh, a uh, from A to A. Well, even this is not very... Because if you, this could, you could do the same thing, yeah. but... Um, <laughs> let me think. Yes, equal to me. Uh, but I, for example, m mapping, right? Like if you're uh, super polymorphic, like... Uh, so not polymorphic, just super polymorphic. Yeah. <laughs> like if you have like a A to B and some like, uh, I don't know... Uh, tuple a b and you want to go to tuple uh well it's this is not a c and you want to go to tuple b c right like in this case there's only one way to do it yeah and that's what i mean by polymorphic right because and if these are concrete like if these mm -hmm. are ints or strings or whatever then yeah you can you can basically do const values for for everything right mm -hmm. uh, but if they are not like that and they are polymorphic mm -hmm. then you cannot like do anything other yeah, than I do the right implementation so th that's the idea right i want it to be able to yeah. to do this like polymorphic yeah do. yeah i know but an, and another idea would be for example the one we had previously from int to string we could define that in like i don't know some assumptions so to say so you say okay we trust you give your implementation we don't touch this part and then in, when you search for the inhabitant, you can use that as a... Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. So, so you're saying that if you... We can put it in the hypothesis of the... Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Um, mm -hmm. So if you have, for example, a like compilation with like a module mm -hmm. or a file or something, yeah. we could like the user could provide some functions and right. then we could use them yeah. as our hypothesis yeah. in, in, in the other implementation. Yeah. Yep, definitely. Um, and then maybe like at some point, if we 
care for to do that we could even do like maybe so so for example um, we could well, implement could uh, so we could implement something like show int as i said with show a a goes to int so we could implement this if we uh, if we had linearity constraints right if we say okay you have to use up this right you have to do something with this right and like linearity it kind of tells you okay you have to consume that a somehow and the, because you know that um, show, well, sorry, this is yeah, a string here, um, right? So if you have to use that a, and you only know the only thing you could do with it is calling the show function because of this uh, thing, then and the result yeah, is a but string. This is something you don't. I mean, in logic you don't see this. It's something you know like, as an heuristic, but in the logic, do you? How do you know? Like it's an okay. You're saying that. Oh. Well. Mm, no, I think linearity forces you because that's how Idris does it. Idris too. Okay, I understand. We'll see. Anyway, that, that's it. Doesn't really yeah, matter okay. right now. Okay, let, let's get back to our. Uh, <laughs> right. So okay. So this tells you how you go from a formula to sequence, and it's actually quite trivial, right? You have no hypothesis, right? And you just uh, yeah, put the formula on the right hand yeah. side because that's the that's the thing we're trying to prove, mm -hmm. right? This formula. Uh, normally, I think so. This is the simple version. Normally, if we have something like you were saying earlier, where we can um, have like a module full of other definitions, yeah, exactly. then those would probably go in here, yeah. right? As, okay, considering those other things are known, how do we prove this, right? Mm -hmm. um, right. Uh, and then we want to do the reverse, right? So, okay, after we work within the, within, inside the sequence <clears throat> and we do like the proof search and so on, Right at the end, the, the result is also a sequence. Or I mean, no, maybe we don't even need for, this. This was just this for was fun. For, yeah, and to make it clear, what does it mean? How yeah. how one should think about? All right, because like sequence. at the end, we won't even look at the formula. At the end, we'll have a, like a term, right? So yeah, okay, whatever. But, but if you were like, okay, this helps you understand how <laughs> to think of a sequence. So basically, what it says is that uh, uh, in order to go from a, like a, this sort of thing, right, where you have multiple hypotheses and one conclusion, mm -hmm. the way you do it is you uh, compose all of this using and, right? Yeah. It's like fold and over the hypothesis and then implies conclusion, right? So if you know all of this, so it is an implication. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's essentially an implication, but we don't use implication because we need to like there's some syntactical trickery yeah. there that we need to use or like mechanism. I shouldn't say trickery, some mechanism yeah, right. that we use to. Uh, to derive the uh, uh, the solution, right? Uh, okay, and here are all the different rules that we will apply. So essentially, each of this uh, rule um, okay, so how is is related to like a uh, case in our uh, right. Uh, and how many we have? So, for example, we have a couple of them for each kind of connective, like and or. Um, an implication mm -hmm. and then there can be in the conclusion or, or in the hypothesis mm -hmm. right so that's why you have air and means that we have an end on the right on the right hand side meaning in the, in the conclusion in the conclusion yeah. and so left means left, one in the hypothesis one in the hypothesis mm -hmm. and so on for the implication we have a bunch of them depending yeah we have we four, four in the on the left hand side right because like everything is one on the left and one on the right mm -hmm. except well there are two on the right of ors yeah. because or is a bit weird um but, but we have a I think we are missing something. I don't think so, because we have a different one for each. I'll continue while you yeah. check. Right, and but, but the thing is, as you're we're building the derivation for... No, uh, okay. <laughs> uh, as we're building the derivation, starting from a sequence, so this is the function, right? Starting from a sequence, we, we're trying to build a, um, like a derivation, like a kind of build a proof tree, uh, if it exists, or a derivation, as we called it. Mm -hmm. Um, the thing is, the result is not a sequence. You cannot go from sequence to sequence because it could branch. So, it was like from one sequence, you could uh, you could branch to two different sequences. But not only that, you could find a place where uh, you can have multiple possible proofs, mm -hmm. right? So, branching kind of means you have to prove both of them for it to be true, right? Uh, whereas, brand the other sort of branching, when you you, you kind of create a separate proof and then one of them needs to be true, right? You have to find one proof at which which one. holds, right? at least one, yeah. Uh, so it's kind of like uh, also and and or, right? So for branches, we need to prove all of the branches. For mm -hmm. the list, we need at least one yeah. in order to be able to to create a term at the mm -hmm. end. Um, so again, so this derivation is kind of it's a tree, right? So oh, Hi. hello, hello, uh, hello, Val. Um, 
So we have this sort of like branch, right? Which which allows us to. So we, we always store the rule that we've used just for our sake to, yeah, to be able to debug easier. Yes, for the moment, and then we on the next step when we will build the term. When we build a term, that will also be very useful. Yes, yeah. that uh, will be the. Key. Yeah, th th that's going to be the key exactly. Um, and then we store the uh, current sequence. I think is what yeah, exactly. what's here. Just so we yeah we need we, we need it we to, to look at it. it. Yeah. yeah. And then this is like when you have a branch, we have like two two branches, right? That's this is mm -hmm. the derivation A derivation B. So this is like a binary tree here. In this case, this is this case is like a list, right? When we have mm -hmm. a, only a single step that you, you can you can go to, right? It's a single yeah. and this is where we get stuck or we are done with the proof essentially. Yeah, these are well, the leaves. Yeah, the leaves, right? Uh, and then, so we go from sequent to such a tree, but we go to a list of such trees. And you'll see that I think we have either one or two just rules. One rule. So uh, I think there is just one rule that creates a this, branch. This uh, or branch? No. And then... Uh, yeah, this is one, right? The or. Uh, when you no, have we have two. Imp, imp and or both create lists. No, those are branches. Uh, um, the list is created by... Um, when you have... Uh, or. Oh, this one, right? Yeah. Or on the right-hand yeah. side. Okay, when we just That's append. That's the only one. That's okay, the only okay one. fair enough. Makes sense. The okay. rest creates, creates mm -hmm. branch. Okay, fair mm -hmm. enough. Okay, cool. So, uh, so we have so for example the way we've structured it. I think we might change it because I was going to talk to you we about have this. We some problems here. Um, so, but initially we look at uh, on the left hand side is how we structure the code, and I think that's wrong. I think I we think need to look on the right. Yeah, first. this agree? is what I told oh, you from cool. the beginning. <laughs> but you said no, no. Uh, I don't know why. I think it was. A I think I, I was just saying that we should write that one first, but uh, not necessarily. Uh, so I agree, we, we need to reorder this. I think the only, uh, um, you know what the problem is, is this rule. Because we cannot stop with variable A until we are sure we're done with like, or like with unwrapping the hypothesis. No, uh, yeah. Right, because mm -hmm. we might have an A inside a function that we need to apply or something, right? So yeah. we we cannot. So this, this it's only the, the leaf, like only the leaf cases should be last. Rather than that, it doesn't really matter, right? So I think we can just put this here, and then I think we're good. Hmm. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. I think we're good if we do that. But anyway, so here, for example, so all of these rules kind of try to destructure the right hand side, right? The uh, the conclusion. Right, mm -hmm. the, the the thing that we're trying to prove, right? So if we have a uh, like an implication or a function on, in the head, mm -hmm. uh, then we destructure it by um, moving the a on the left hand side, right, and then keeping the b mm -hmm. on the right hand side. And this is essentially you should probably notice that this is most likely going to convert into a lambda x dot, right? This right. Way, obviously, right? Uh, well, I need to build a function. Well, how do I build? Well, I type lambda a dot, and then mm -hmm. I'll try to build a b, right? Mm -hmm. Obviously. Um, then we have an AND and then the AND branches where we have to prove both A and B separately, right? Yeah. We simplify it like this. Yeah. Um, Hypothesis that don't change. Mm -hmm. And then we have the OR, which kind of like, okay, you need to either prove A or prove B, right? So this is where we split it into two different trees, right? Where we say, okay, we either prove A, right? A we have to create a list, right? So we either prove A or we prove B, right? And everything else until that point is kind of mm -hmm. copied into an identical tree. So now we have two... Two different proofs which yeah. might succeed or they yeah. might also fail or one might succeed and the other yeah. would fail we, we, we right. don't know right yeah. at this point um, right. so but that's all of the possible combinators so that's everything that could happen on the right hand right. side and then on because the left we have only one formula mm -hmm. yeah and then on the left hand side the thing is as 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 as, as you said you have a list right so there could be multiple and here we have a bug right uh, yeah, we'll get to that in a second though. So here we're kind of doing, okay, this sort of pattern match, right? Or this will match everything else, right? So if not, none of these matched, then this will match everything else. For yeah, now. but then there's the problem with the leaf. Yeah, yeah. no, no. It, yeah, there's a problem here. Where we have that There's a problem how you reach the leaf. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, we'll you know reach what it. I mean. No, no, we, no, no. It's fine. We'll reach this. Don't worry. Because if none of these match, then it will go to this. Okay. Um, okay. If none of these uh, like con uh, conditions match. Okay. Okay. Um, right. So we have this. Um, okay. So we have. Uh, okay. What do we do there? So we if we have. Search. So okay. We, all of these have this find thing here, right? Which kind of like okay. If we can find an and 
inside the hypothesis, mm -hmm. then we need to break it down essentially, mm -hmm. right? Because ands are not like trivial things. They are a composition of two things, yeah. right? At least, right? Because mm -hmm. you could have like uh, nested ands or whatever, right? Um, so, how do you do? so what do we do? Well, we remove this and from there, and then we just append a and b separately, right, to the list of hypotheses. Yes. Simple, right? Yeah. If we know a and b, we know a and b individually. And it will find the first, you find, it stop it. Yeah, it will find the first, but then it will iterate again, right? Because yeah. we're iterating it, build derivation. Okay. So then if there's multiple, okay. it will just go through each yeah. and every one of them and just uh, yeah. unwrap all the ands. Right. Um, then if we find an or, Mm -hmm. What do we do? Well, we, we, we create a branch where we, we, we kind of say, okay, uh, we remove this or, and then we create a branch where we want, uh, in one uh, uh, case, you case you know A, and the other case you know B. And, you, and, you want to and the thing is you need to prove both in this yeah. case, right? It's no longer a choice. Yeah, yeah. Like it's if in the right-hand side is a choice, if it's on the left-hand side, yeah. you need to prove both of them. Yeah, it's not like what happens when you have... Yeah, exactly. It's not like here, right? When you have it on the right-hand side or you right. prove either. Here you have to prove both cases. Yeah. Um, okay, cool. And then we have an, another case where we have A or B implies C. No, wait. Now it, you, we have an implication. Okay, so but all these we, rules are about implication. Okay. We split it. We don't look like what happened if we have an implication. We also want to know what we have on the left of the implication. Mm -hmm. And we can have either a variable, an okay. and, an or, or another implication. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then, so the variable is the last thing that we'll okay. handle, right? So first is, okay, what if I, so, okay, you're right. The key is the implication here, right? So what happens if we have something implies C and what if that something is an or? Well, if that something is an or, then we use this uh, left or implies, right, mm -hmm. rule. And we remove the hypothesis, which is remove this whole thing, right? Mm -hmm. And we add A yeah. implies C and we add B implies C. Mm -hmm. uh, if you're into having fun with like simple uh, uh, combinators, you can probably easily imp implement this yourself as a function. Like you can implement this combinator uh, 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 that either a b implies c. From this, you can create a function from a to b and a function from a to c. Yeah. Right. So if you wanna have fun, you can try implementing it yourself. But uh, yeah. It, it holds, right? So we're kind of simplifying this thing to, to simple functions, right? All right? Again, right? We're kind of breaking this from inside this, yeah. right? Um, and then here, if we, you have an end on the left hand, if we have an end here, then this is just on curry, right? Yeah. Essentially, right? So if we have a uh, and b goes to c, we'll just remove this and create a goes to b goes to c. And it parentheses on the right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. it parentheses on, on the right. So a this will be a implies b to c. Right, um, and then so and then we have what if we have it parenthesized on the left hand side, which is different than this, right? Mm -hmm. uh, what we if have we have an it? Implication on the left of yeah. the implication. <laughs> right. Okay, so this is the one. weird rule. This uh, is the weird rule. Take it as it is. Yeah, I have no, no idea why it, it as works. It as as this is, we found it in the book. In, uh, several, books. The, in several books, there is a lot of proofs around it. Well, I'll just trust it. Yeah. I still, it, this feels super weird that this yeah, exists they, here. Yeah, they also say it is super weird, but. Don't forget, it has to. I mean, they have to be able to show that all the structural rules are admissible, and you need to take it. Sure. Yeah. Let's, <laughs> let's leave it as it is. I mean, uh, sure. Need to okay. Invent this. So I, I tried to, to think about we this. We can give. A, I can agree with everything give a, except a this. Reference for 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 <laughs> this, if somebody needs it. Yeah, I'll, I'll add them to the YouTube video, like yeah. the references, like the the books and yeah. so. Yeah. Anyway, um, yeah. So let's let's okay, let's, let's carry let, on. Let's le let me review <laughs> your code. So you okay? Let's go again. You split into two. You have a branch. You have a branch, yeah. In which in one you have you remove the hypothesis. In both of them, we remove the hypothesis. Okay. And then once on you add C, and on the other one you add B to C. So kind of like breaking the parentheses in a way. Right, in a mm -hmm. weird way. And, and then a. we have the a, yeah. a there, and then the result is B, like this thing. E, yeah. The middle. yeah. That's super weird, but sure. <laughs> and then we have this thing, which has a problem uh, currently. But I have a question for you. Mm -hmm. um, no, I don't have a question. 
<laughs> okay, cool. Um, so here it's the, okay, so if we don't have any uh, implications which have a complex yeah. quote unquote thing on the left here, mm -hmm. right? Then what do we do? Well, then we probably have some which have variables here, right? Unless everything is broken down already on the left-hand yeah. side. Uh, so then we have variables here. Okay, so if we have a variable here and uh, like uh, a B here, some B, whatever B. Well, why, did, why did you wrote B? I mean, you have C everywhere. Uh, I mean, just because it's the next letter. It's yeah, but you had some that have implies something like that. Whatever. Um, okay. No. <laughs> uh, right, so if a variable A implies B here, mm -hmm. then what... Uh, and this is just finding it, right? Mm -hmm. Then if A exists in our hypothesis as well, yes. then we can kind of, um, if it's true, right? Let's look here first. So if it's true, um, A is in our hypothesis. If it's true, then we remove this implication here, right? We remove right. it. And then we add B as an additional hypothesis right because we could take yes, the exactly. a that we have found put it here and yep. then obtain the a b right mm -hmm. simple uh, now this is all g well and fine except that we have this thing here which says oh well if you don't find it then it's an error um, well it's not an error but we, we stop everything here yeah um, so because the, it, i don't know how to proceed because yeah because the thing is we cannot remove this function because we might use it later we might yeah, need it and later this will not be a proof it will be just a derivation but it will not be a proof and yeah, yeah it will mean that your formula <laughs> it's kind of stuck it's you not get stuck. a tautology you get stuck basically in your proof it, it's not yeah. necessary because right now it's even wrong so you can't even say it's not uh, it's correct it's not wrong right? it will mean that the formula you gave initially was it's not a tautology well no because the algorithm is wrong right now so <laughs> Like it could be a tautology, but we have this bug here. But that's not a bug. It yes, it be is. Like this. No, it's not because we are not fi we're finding the first one. Ah, okay. No, we have to find. Yeah. So we need to figure out how to f look for all of them, mm -hmm. right? Um, but even. But you, you have to use that find map differently there, right? Or no, I don't think so. So I think here is uh, here what we need to do is we need to do to use some sort of non-determinism here right we need to look for all of them and see if there is any for which we can okay but that's simple instead of being creating a leaf just create another derivation in which what do i do because i cannot remove this this function yeah, because this function should... could be used in something else um I mean, could it be used in, in something the, in else the algorithm yeah 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 in the how? algorithm is wait, 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 I mean, how? we had an example in which we were using it in another one. No, no, but I'm th I'm thinking why can I can I not remove this thing? Okay, because now you have a for example you have a imply b and okay. maybe with okay. Can you put the tablet on? Uh I think it disconnected so you need to uh, reconnect okay, it. Yeah, yeah. I need to start this. Oh, okay. uh, connect there. Start. I uh, think it. What? Let me find it. Uh, one second. One second. Let me restart it here. Uh, or actually, give me one second. I mean, I mean you okay. There we go. Let me drag right. this away. Yeah. No, it, this program doesn't do that. But once you do this, it should automatically exit it. Okay. Oh. Okay. Give me one tiny second. Uh, I think this also broke, so we'll need to restart this thing. One second. I think we are ready. Yeah. Right, so maybe you have something like um, A implies B. 
Okay. Like, and then, uh, what do what do what do you say? And then suppose you have a implies no. Uh, uh, well, that is unattainable, B right? Because we don't have an A. A and B. Um, apply sequence something something, right? And you want to apply. Oh, okay, right. This produce an A, and that's why you don't want to destroy this, and then this will give you a B. Well, uh, like vo if that's the case, and we we have an A, then that would be fine, right? Because this will match like any function, and it will find the A. It will do the next thing. It will find the second function. It will create a C. It will uh, figure that out, and then we'll end up with a leaf. Uh, but then, well, actually, it will also break that end there, right? It will break that end here. Uh, yeah, we don't discard the A, right? So uh, it's fine. We can reuse things, and of but course, that will get more complicated if we if we get into. Uh, but yeah, yeah. You, your point is valid, though, uh, because yeah, we, we might get the A later. Yeah. yeah, you're right. So we cannot remove it, right? So okay, yeah. But so we need the non-determinism then. Or isn't there other way? I mean, you know, more. I mean, the algorithm is fine. The algorithm says, okay, if there exists an implication of this form and so on, so I don't want just the first one. Aren't you able to write a special find map there that somehow check all of them? Yeah, but that's non-determinism. You have to look for all of them, and then each, in each of them you have to um, see whether it's true that you have the variable. Okay, but then I think it's easier. What we can do there, let's just, let's just create several. Let's create for each this, sorry. For each formula of this form we find, okay. let's create a new derivation. Anyway, we put them in our list as we did with the, uh, which one was it? When we had the uh, or on the right, right? Yeah, because like, the thing is, yeah, we need to do one at a time because otherwise we, like otherwise the things that we did not find previously as ha being both a function <coughs> and having a variable could have one after yeah. one step, right? But so we still, we still have the other problem when you say, okay, you just, you don't just want, okay, you don't just want to copy them, but let's, Let's create all this, the permutation of your array in order to... S so we'll, to we'll write an inefficient algorithm, but it will work in the sense that... You, you understand we'll find, what I've said? Yeah, we'll find all of the... Um, okay, wait. Let me finish my idea. Okay. So you create a permutation with all uh, all the array in, in the sense that in one, you will always search for the first one, right? What do you mean? You will search for the first... Uh, implication of the form. That's what B. happens now. Yeah. Okay. But you will always take the first. We will always take the first, okay. but we will just um, rearrange the hypothesis. Um, oh, so you mean if it's false, then I just move that one to the end? But how do I know I'm, I'm not inside a loop? Yeah. Well, one will stop, but the others what? could. Well, yeah, but what if you have two and none of, like, what if you have one which doesn't work? It will just repeat that one forever. So that doesn't but work. But still, that's a bad, okay, that was a bad idea, but. Saturate your count. Yeah, we're doing that. So we're starting with, uh, like, um, uh, moving everything to hypothesis, right? So we're maximizing the chances that we can solve this, right? By doing this first, right? By yeah, handling the right-hand side first, so. then we sort of guarantee that on the right-hand side we, we don't have an AND or an implication or an OR. We only have like a simple variable normally, right? And then after we, we kind of like uh, make sure that we have as, much, as, as many hypotheses as we can, like we know mm -hmm. everything that we can know, then we kind of start to try and figure things out, right, through this. Um, Wait, but let's 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 be let's do it differently. Let's modify the find map match inf in such a way that we find an implication and the left hand side of that implication in the list. Yeah, sure, but you cannot do it with find map. Why not? Because find map is a function defined in like traversable, which is like in, the, in a different library, and the the you only have access to a formula like the current formula. You can only look at this formula. You cannot look at the whole array here for the whole list. Wait, go back. Well, okay, we could do this. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. We can do this instead. So we could do uh, <sighs> hypothesis here, and then we could say. Uh, yeah, and then you search also. Is this an ar it's an array, right? 
and then we can we only return just f if uh, wait wait if a um, did you understand what i meant and that's what you mean right this will find the first one which has a variable so the first implication we, which, which has also has the variable, variable inside, in the yeah, hypothesis that's what I'm okay. saying. um yeah that will solve the problem uh, but what if there's nothing there? Then we, we okay. Then, then we, it's false then and we it's stop. Yeah. We want okay, to stop. fair enough. Uh, so here we need yeah. to do something like uh, if uh, well, but then we don't know that a is a variable here. So we need to also do variable a here. But we know it's a variable. We right? don't know here. Um, and then I have one more question for you because I think we're missing uh, something. But uh, but here uh, I'm confused. I know what we want to do, but I'm confused how we do it. Yeah, give me one second. So if uh, the well, actually we no, we don't care about that. We can just say if a lm uh, hips, uh, then just f uh, I think that's enough. That's it. Because yeah. then yeah. this handles all the other cases. Um, yeah. Okay, but then, so what if... Did what's you, the problem here? Okay, I think for you... you have oh, to EQ. No, no, I just need EQ here. For the LM. Yeah, that's all. Oh, and here, ooh, but then this... Okay, we need a different version of this function. Uh, we need okay, a match prime in, version or whatever. Or ma match in bar or something. It will, if you put prime, it will be. Okay, I'll rename it right yeah, yeah. I just want to. Uh, okay, and then this used to be just F here, right? Without any extra check. Yeah. Oops, on here. Yeah. Sounds good. Um, okay. So, yeah, I think this is correct now. Yeah. But then we don't even need, do we need this anymore? But my problem now is, which one? This. Yeah. Why? Oh, no. Okay, so let me ask you the question that I had. What the, oh, so here, oh, it can only be variable here because we've already matched all the other cases, right? Yeah. Or there is no... Or there, I mean, don't forget that we also want to arrive to the, when you have, to the next case, when you have variable on the right, on the yeah, conclusion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give me one right? second. So, so um, I think you should, I think it's okay as it is. If you delete it, then. No, but like this doesn't would, make sense. This will never be, uh, like this will never be reached. Uh, this, this cannot happen right now. Uh, so I think we need to remove this bit from here. But we need to add it somewhere else, like maybe here, somehow. Um, Wait. Or do we not care? I think we not. We don't care. I think this is all we need to do. And if if it will not enter, okay. So if that match so if this will doesn't find anything, okay, it will go. Then it will go it here. Oh, okay, then this right. Works. So I think that's good. Um, yeah, fixed there. Yeah, yeah. The problem let's, let's check it and we had an example yeah. last time but i don't have it anymore do you have it mm -hmm. yeah sure okay so let's run oh not why am i running test need to do REPL. Okay. um let's even close this window because we don't really care okay so what's the oh you have it written down i i think i have it November? Yeah. Yeah. Is this the, the one? I think it's this beauty here. So it's this. Let's write directly this sequence. So Q implies P implies R. Wait, but you just showed me, like, you just wrote one earlier. Like oh, A okay. implies, like, that, that was way simpler, right? Yeah, you're right. <laughs> When we're when we're trying to figure this out, um, yeah, this me, one. Give me one second. 
I need to ban But I also this want to look at that. Spot. But I also want to check that example because in the books we yeah, yeah, consulted, sure. they, I mean, that creates a lot of problems. But um, but okay, so we need to one. do this sequence, right? So let me do, uh, let me import uh, this thing and then let me do. Okay, I will take a two minute break. Okay, I'll, I'll write it down. Okay. Um, okay, and then this is var, so I want to do this sequence where. Uh, sequence equals to so this is a list which where we have bar a uh, goes to bar b and bar d goes to bar a and we have a var d uh, like this and then this goes to var b right okay we need to build derivation for s um, okay this looks too small to be correct but let's see uh, okay so let's try to read this thing um, so we have, oops, uh, we have next with L0 with the sequence. Okay, where does this sequence end here? Um, okay, so what's this sequence? So this sequence is A implies B, D implies A, and D, and then B. So this is like the initial state that we wrote down. Um, okay, let me actually just uh, rewrite this as... A implies B, uh, D implies A, and uh, D, uh, and then this implies B. We don't even need this because we have enough syntax here. Okay, so we can remove this part. Okay, so um, okay, so then what's this thing here? So here we have. Uh, a implies B and then D and then A. Okay, cool. So we, we removed that thing and we got the A. Cool. That worked. And then the goal is still this. Uh, and then... What happened? I, I don't know. Let me, <laughs> and then we have D, A and B uh, goes to B. Cool. Yeah, it did work. Right, because like this was the initial sequence. This is the sequence after applying this rule. It's kind of weird, right? Because this is the initial sequence, and this is the result of applying this rule. Right, the, the rule is kind of like behind a bit. Yeah. Right. Uh, if you can, I think we can fix this. No. I'm not sure if we want to. We'll see. Uh, yeah. And then yeah, applying this rule leads to this. Yeah. Right. So you can you can remove this and then. Let's check also the uh, yeah. big example, the other example, because. Um, that involves uh, several rules with the implication. Okay, the so what's the other example? Show me. This guy here. Um, okay, so we have this var q implies var p. In a parenthesis. Uh, and then all of this implies. Hard. Uh, Okay. Another hypothesis is Q implies implies R, okay. and then another one R implies P. And you want to imply P. Yeah. Uh, and these are the hypotheses. Wait, this is weird. So we, we get yeah. this R P Q R. You A. Oh. And then implies what? P. Huh? Oh, so you need to like kind of compose these two to no, get you have this. To decompose this. You have to decompose yeah, this. Yeah, sure. But like if I were to write the mm -hmm. code, I would compose these two and then get Q to P, right? And then pass this here and get an R. And then use this R to get the P. Ooh, okay. So it's everything uh, everything uh, implies P, P right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, so let's do like this is S2. <coughs> 
and let's build a derivation for s2 okay it branch yeah you have to branch it did branch okay. um, let's check the leaves just look search for leaf um, okay, I mean one is good then the other one is yeah there is a P here and a P here yeah I think it's good should we like yeah, check it yeah. thoroughly or or let's do the pretty printer and I, I mean just we check the okay so what's this sequence oh. come on it's too difficult don't do it we lose time let's do the pretty printer I mean this is the original sequence we know that no but we have sequence. look at the leaves and the idea is that in each leaf it's okay it's okay don't do it okay if you say so we'll do the pretty printer and then try yeah, this just again. look at the leaves i mean i did look at the leaves and okay and they we have a right. right and then uh, we have the yeah we have a variable p here yeah. and on the right hand yeah. side we have a it's p good. and then we have one here yeah. okay sure and if you say so that's a tricky example in all the i mean the books they use it as yeah Sorry. Okay, okay so let's, let's go back to sequence okay mm -hmm. so let's let's go back to so let's forget about this for a second and look at pretty printing then. I would want to finish it in the sense that let's look now. So now we have a derivation, right? I mm -hmm. mean, let's let's give an example of something which is not a tautology and see what happens. Let's do the pretty printer because it's going to be easier to see the results. Okay, instead of writing another test, just bury me and just let's write a, f a function that checks if the derivation is a proof or not. We just have to look at the leaves. Um, it's not that easy because we need to look at through the lists. Yeah. Um, so you know what we have like to do. Uh, we have okay, to check so, in the. Uh, just look first in a derivation, and then you look. You use it to look in all the. So can I call it this proof? Right. Okay. So you take and a we derivation. we go from a. To bool. Uh, to bool. And then you want to check in all of the leaves. Yeah. Yeah. That the conclusion is um, in the hypothesis. So, okay. Uh, okay. So if I have a leaf uh, mm -hmm. A, right? I think you need to look what you have inside the, of the leaf. Um, Just write it as a sequence. Ah. Oh. In the leaf, you have to just check. Okay, how does the leaf look like? Yeah, but I mean, okay, I was thinking about putting it in a different function, but sure. So we, we want something like. But I think the leaf has another. Does it? I name. don't think so. Oh, no. I think it's it only have, okay. has the sequence mm -hmm. there. Uh, so if the sequence is of the. Four wait, okay, so but we need to look at the derivation of sequence of A, right? Because otherwise it doesn't make sense. What? Okay. So this, if this is like some hypothesis and then followed by uh, variable a. Should always be just variable a. Yeah. Uh, should then. We, should we have like a maybe boolean? Or? Uh, no, it just returns false if that's not true. Okay. What would maybe true, like what would nothing mean other than nothing. true or false? Oh, okay, so we, we couldn't. I was thinking that maybe we didn't. I mean, we want to be sure that on the conclusion we end up with a variable. Otherwise, we didn't. You Otherwise, should, it's a bug or what? Yeah, because you should be able to decompose the conclusion until you reach the. I, I variables think that's always. I think that's true by construction. I don't think there's any way for that to happen. Okay. Um, okay. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. So if we have a variable a, then the result is whether. Um, it's just finding the result of finding. A you know what? I think we can just type A here and then say A yeah. lamb uh, hips. Because that like is the result. Even even if so, bear me, even if we have like even if our algorithm has a bug and we have an A and B on the right hand side, if we have an A B on the left hand side, it's mm -hmm. still proof. Sorry. Even if we have a weird bug, mm -hmm. which kind of leaves an A and B on the right hand side, yeah, and we have an A and B on the right hand side, it's still a valid proof. I mean, okay, we shouldn't get there, but it's it's yeah. this function is still correct. Okay. Whether yeah. it's correct with our other inner assumptions that we have, okay. probably not. But okay. like this function is still correct, right? Yeah. 
Okay, so if we have a branch, uh, well, if we have a next, uh, some, uh, wait, let me look at the constructor, because I forgot the constructor. Uh, so we have rule, which we ignore, so I only care about the, uh, mm -hmm. uh, like the uh, next part, right? Uh, like the next derivation. Mm -hmm. And then we just do this proof derivation, right? We just go to the next part, and if we have a branch, um, uh, D1 and D2, let's call this D. Okay, then we just do is. Um, you have to do end. Yeah, I know. Okay, let's just do. That. <laughs> I was trying to be cute, but yeah. it's not, not worth it. And then um, let's do I don't know is tautology or something, in which you take a formula. Wait, we still no, no we still need to do the part where we. Uh, yeah, I was thinking that for lists. Yeah, I was thinking you just uh, map this is proof on the list of the derivation uh sure i mean it's not a map it's a it's a fault but sure yeah yeah, yeah you're oh, right sorry yeah but there was um and what, what did you say oh you wanted to take a function yeah, a formula a formula and then see whether see, it's a yeah. proof it's uh, tautology uh boolean and then we need the Okay, so given some formula, we want to do what? We want to do the, uh, do the from uh, formula to sequence, right? Right. And then we need to do like the uh, derivation. Build derivation, which creates a list, and then we need to. Uh, oh, I think it's what it's called. So it's just one, right? Mm hmm. Uh, yeah, all for is proof. No, sorry, any. Any, right? Mm -hmm. Not all. So first, okay. Right. So this will just give us if it is or not. Then we can s see how we want to look at all the proofs. We have them anyway, but yeah. Oh. Um, then we, we can do different things. We can just check. I mean, from all the derivation, maybe we want to keep just the ones that are proofs because we will want to use them Oh yeah, if you have a list terms. you want to like yeah. keep only the yeah, yeah, sure. But for the moment this is I mean, let's check now if it works just give it pathology. Do you still have the examples we had before or yeah. okay, just check with S1 or S2. Okay. With S, right. Oh wait, I still need to do this thing. Okay. Just check. <coughs> uh, oh right, because S I already created S as a because these are sequence, mm. so we need. Uh, but then it's like we need formulas. Okay, just write is tautology sequence to formula and. two again so go back wait did you wrote um let's look at this uh, was the sequence okay? Um, so. Now just write, can we check if you apply sequence to formula S2 and then formula to sequence and it should be equal to S2? Can we do this? I mean like this and then equal equals to S2, but I don't think we can do this because I don't think we defined equality. Okay, but just, just let's check what did okay wait what do you mean oh we don't have yeah we don't have equality i can, yeah, but I can define double equality. double equal but let's see how what it gives back like this mm. uh it's wrong. yeah it's wrong maybe c 
sequence to form is wrong? Yeah. Let's go back. What happened? Here? Oh no, it wasn't wrong. Go back. It wasn't wrong because it has implications here. It. I don't think it's a nice dependency when you apply it. Okay. Yeah. Right. It should still work. It's, it should still work. I, I cannot see. Let's do the pretty printer. I mean. Let's um, just do it for the formulas first and then we will do it for the sequence. But it's really hard to see the formulas. Uh, I mean, we already have one for formulas. Okay, let's see. <laughs> um, so what did you do? What is Dodo? So Dodo is a pretty printing library created by... Uh, let me close the... Let me close this up because I'm not sure I'll need it. Uh, at least now. Mm -hmm. So it's a pretty printing library created by Nate Hobian. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, yeah, I thought has I'd give it a try. Has a funny name. Yeah, it, it does Dodo. have a funny name. I think Mara <laughs> has a toy called Dodo. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, cool. So we have this. Uh, so what was the idea? So the idea is that it, it, there's no instances, like kind of like show. So there's none of that. You okay. just create functions. Uh -huh. Uh, and you create functions like this, like from whatever you want to pretty print to dodo that document of some annotation, right? And okay. you can use some like I I, I, I didn't read too much, so uh, I'm I'm not quite sure what we use annotations for. <laughs> um, but anyway, so the idea is that, for example, if you have a string, you can do dodo.text and then it will just take the string, okay. right? So this only works for formula strings. As I said, we'll we'll be focusing on this yeah. for now. Right, and that's all we used anyway until now. Mm -hmm. um, so then if you have this, you just do print formula and then it, it, it has a semi-group instance, so we can do this, right, to concatenate them okay, uh, I got together it. Let's, let's and so on, right? Print formula of print. Well, that won't work, so let me, let me see, because this, I, I, I need to see how I print this, I do, like how do I run this? So ah. let me, give me one second. Uh, Dodo. Yep. Oh, it, oh don't have docs um, uh, there we go it's not published to persist yet but it's fine uh, so we can do print I guess print and the f oh plain text to sp okay so we can just take this like we can copy this part and then hello is this thing okay, uh, okay so um, pretty print. Well, let's just do uh, oh, for this. I mean, write the total formula. Uh, print. Let's just do the print function here, and then let's do. Um, okay, so if you give me a do 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 doc and so for all n. Um, if you give me this, I'll give you a string, I think. I'm not sure. Uh, D. Uh, let me look at this again. So, it, yeah, okay, yeah, mm. that should be correct. So, except I need to do 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 dot. That seems like it should work yeah. to me. Yeah seems looks good okay so now we can go back here and then reload this and it should work to to do sequence to formula right mm -hmm. so we can do sequence to formula and then we can print it right mm -hmm. uh, print well no we can do we need to do this and print uh, formula print print formula uh, of this I think unknown value s2 Oh, okay, we need to uh, do s2 equals to, okay, oh, okay, no. we need to do var equals to, mm -hmm. okay, and then we need to do s2 equals to, and now this should work, there we go. Okay. Wait, what does, oh, okay, it, it also escapes, unfortunately, because it's a string. Uh, but it parenterizes. We could do log of this, for example. What happens with the parentheses here? Give me one second. Uh, fact that console. Dot okay, all this. Yeah, that's accepts. 
So first of all, parentheses here is just wrong. See, it destroyed. So mm, I think I think the printer might be the problem here, not the code. No. What? What do you mean? No? How do you know? Go back to the uh, um, sequential formula. You don't put parentheses because we don't need them. It's just an end. Yeah. It doesn't matter for okay. ends. Okay, so the printer was bad. No, the printer is doesn't add parentheses. Um, so how do we do this then? Do I'm we just add parentheses? Yeah. Uh, like it's hard to 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 take into account the like where yeah, like everywhere. here, like here in in like before and after. Yeah, yeah. Uh, wait, I think there should be a combinator for that. Can you go to the book? Um, space break. But maybe it has no. Yeah, I want to look at some. Uh, I'm just going up here and just looking for the common, maybe. Parents. Yeah, I don't know. I yeah, don't know like one. this one, right? Parents. I'm not sure why it's called like this. It's called. That's fine. Worse. But it's not here. Um, let's go here and have a look what we have here. lines words paragraph and close maybe <laughs> yeah it's enclose right okay open close yeah. and inner right so let's see is there like if i keep for, for searching no so that's okay that's the combinator and close uh so let's do par here then and we'll define par as in close uh, whatever right so in close So it's this and this and this. Yeah, okay. Wait, and this yeah, it's okay. and everything implies P? Yeah. Yeah, it looks okay. And then what was the problem? Um, we gave... So we, we did like sequence to formula and then called tautology on this, right? And then we got false. What? Okay, go back with the tautology. So I think tautology is wrong now? No, but so formula to sequence. Ah, apply formula to sequence in that. Then we don't know. But then we don't have a way to print sequence. So maybe we should do that instead. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, yeah, let's but do this let's print sequence. It should be fine. It shouldn't, it shouldn't have problem. But uh, show me again a bit of. What? You want to see like uh, sequence to formula or formula to sequence? No, I think it's fine. Should be fine. Yeah, it's it's okay. And can you ch can you apply derivation of formula to sequence? Yeah, sure. Oh, but like last. Yeah, it's okay. Let's let's take this example. So I have leaf. <coughs> what? 
what happened? You didn't apply it, see? Oh, no, 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 wait. Because this is... Application, application... Oh, and we even have a single leaf here. Yeah. So we have an implication from R to P, and an implication from Q to P. Can you uh, can you take all this text and put it in a let's let's break it uh, break it down? Mm -hmm. hmm. What did we do? Oops, this one. Okay, so we have an R in right because we wanted to make an implication. And then we have one next end, and we are supposed. So you don't want to break this down. Oh, no, this is no. the initial thing. Okay. Then we have one end, and we get. <gasps> so did so what happened here? So where is? So the idea is it has to move the implication. Oh, so it's a huge end, and it left, moves and the then whole end on the. On oh, the left, and then it has to apply the end rule. Right? A lot of times, right? Two times. Um, okay, so it's an L end here yeah. and one there, right? So yeah. let's see what happened after that. Okay, it should be the, what we have Wait, before. No. Uh, where is this? Okay, it's here. And then we get a leaf. Why? This is the problem. Uh, okay, so let's look. Let's write this down, right? Let me try to write this down so it's r implies p and then q implies p implies r and then it's q implies r and then everything goes to p so it is what we had but why did it so essentially it should have found this right and it didn't yeah It's just because can we uh, okay for my sanity can you take that uh can you take this and apply if derivation to this sequent as we did before you mean apply build derivation yeah it shouldn't matter right no it shouldn't because we didn't check with the reverse order of the formulas um, so let's look here again no go down so i guess like this should match right Oh, did we break match imp when we did this silly thing? I don't think so. No. Mm. Oh, wait, it's wrong. Why? Hmm. Oh, I know. I know, I know, I know, I know. Because you know what the problem is? Your code. The long. <laughs> so, um, look at this. Uh, let me. So, our match. Uh, imp. Our match imp will find this one first. And this will not match with this. And it will just skip to the next part. But it oh. So, this, we need the third version of match no, imp. No, but it's, it's just. Sorry. Because then it will, have, it will be the same problem with yeah, all yeah, those yep. So we need specific... Uh, no, we, we want to be sure that we find the... Uh, find what? So you want to be sure that you check that there are no 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 uh, no ors on the left of the implications. Yeah, I know. So we need uh, like we need specific match imp functions, not this one. Yeah. But like the current match imp is not useful at all. Hello, hello, hello Argus. Uh, let, let me double check. So, is this useful anywhere? Uh, no, no, no. Okay, so we actually match imp as it is. It's not useful. But wait, I think it's it, the problem is with it is with all of them. Yes, we need to write four different match imps rather than that one. Also for and and for or. Yes. Okay. Yeah, we just need to like we specifically need to match. Um, Uh, yeah, so yeah, we, we need to essentially write this it here. So A uh, or B. But 
multiply C. Key. Yeah, yeah, we'll rename the function. I'm confused. Okay, so match uh, okay, or imp. And then we need to do. I knew it figured out, you know, uh, if you see it. <laughs> uh, and this is. Um, wait, how many are there? Oh, so we need that and we need match imp imp as well. This is match this one, right? This is match or no. yeah. what do you mean? Yeah. Yeah. And imp <laughs> We should write a lot of tests. Well sure. It's good that this happened. Okay, so now let's try this again. Reload it. Oh yeah, reload it. <laughs> what equal? Uh, where is it? Okay. S2. And now we just run tautology. Mm. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> okay. So that, that was the so problem. So it wasn't my algorithm, it was your code. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> you take no ownership of the code? Huh? You, you take no ownership of the code? It's mm. just all my, all my code? No, okay. <laughs> but uh, not this bug. It was your bug. <laughs> okay. Okay. Let's do the pretty print. What time is it? Uh, okay. We have like 40 half minutes left, half an hour. Okay. Uh, what? Oh. <laughs> Why are you so shy and asking for a sip of coffee? <laughs> <laughs> Looks like you're quite enjoying my coffee. <laughs> <It's wonderful. laughs> uh, it has no sugar. Oh, that's the problem. It's not a problem, but I was expecting something else. <laughs> okay. My expectations were <laughs> higher. <laughs> print sequence. Uh, sequence. Uh. Okay, so print sequence. So we need like again for all and uh, sequence. Uh, sequence of also okay. string, right? Sequence of string goes to dodo dog and okay. Okay. Huh? Oh, yeah, sure. We can pattern match here. The same thing. Oh, you just put map or whatever print formula over the hypothesis. Yeah, but don't yeah. we need to like yeah, yeah. You need to grab this? Um, so you have. So we do, do we parenthesize it? No, right? It doesn't, because it's a single one. Yeah. So, like so the idea is you have to print formula on each hypothesis, then put a comma between mm -hmm. them, and then put the special symbol. Yeah. And then... Uh, so let's see. Let, let's find the function which, like, uh, helps us with, like, uh, commas. Yeah. Right. I think I was, there was something. Uh, yeah, I'm sure there is. Um, so let's see, indent, break, space, break, soft break, lines, words. Um, fall with separator, I guess. Yeah. You give it a separator yeah. and a list of, yeah. Cool. Um, uh, so where were we here, right? Mm -hmm. So we need fold, well, dodo, fold with separator, and the separator is dodo the text comma, and then this will be print formula over hips, right? Yep. Uh, okay, and then we append. Uh, 
like the special thing here. Shouldn't you write dot or dot yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's do this. And then print, um, form. print formula. Mm -hmm. Well, that was easier than I thought it would be. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 uh, okay. Let's do S2 and then let's do print, uh, print sequence. No, print S2? No, 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 because. Mm -hmm. Seems okay. Yeah, looks good. Like, I, I like that they're parenthesized, each of them, because yeah, right? yeah, it's, it's easier to, to see. To the, even if we have commas, it's still easier to, to mm -hmm. see them. I think that's totally fine. Hey. Um, let's. Let's pretty print a derivation. derivation. Mm -hmm. But this is not that useful without derivations, right? Print sequence, right? Because that's a sequence. Yep. And if do we you have, have, do you still yeah. have the type definition of derivation? The definition of derivation. Yeah, it's like next, okay. which has a rule, okay. some uh, current sequence, and then the next, right? Yeah. Um, but here we should. How do you plan to? You need to kind of vertically align them, right? Cause, yeah. Um, and somehow have an indentation? For branches or what? No. <laughs> I mean, we should. I mean, we so what is with branches? Maybe we can put this, I mean, if you, yeah, with branches, I don't know. But if you look at the derivation by hand, if we use this line to separate them, mm -hmm. should we use? Yeah, so let's try doing that. Maybe um, it could be. Right. So the first thing is we write the sequence on the bottom, right? Right. Well, but it has to be on the bottom. Oh, we need to do it right reversed, right? Doesn't matter. Yeah, it does, because we need to print next first. Right, so we need to do like print, next. print derivation next. Right, right? Uh, let's put a line. Uh, uh, let me do this for yeah, now yeah, and exactly. then we'll figure sure. it out yeah, if yeah, you yeah. need to, like how yeah, big yeah, it yeah, is yeah. or whatever. Let's just do like, but this will be on different <laughs> lines. No, <laughs> let me see how we do that because that's not on new lines. Uh, so, what's break? Break. Okay, that, that's a line break. Yeah. Right. That's what we want. We want break. Um, uh, why did you write this here like this and this like? They that? need to be escaped because they're special characters. You okay. know, like for example, okay. new lines are like this. Uh -huh. okay. Remember, like for C or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, there we go. So mm. wait, what? No, not here. Not in print sequence. Uh, yeah. So it's here, right? Uh, like after yes. and before. Yeah. And okay. now here you print the. Ah no, let's put here the, the name, rule of name of the mm -hmm. rule. Uh, text rule. Uh, let me add a space here, right? Sure. So it's not like right next to. We also should write. Um, does it know how to write the rule? Yeah, the rule is a string. Oh no, it's not. No. We just do a show instance because yeah. it's just a name, yeah, right? Yeah, it's yeah. that's okay, that's fine. Uh, yeah, but I need to. Oh, we have one, we okay, have, it's we fine, have. we have it. And put it among parentheses. This is how magicians do it. Oh. Okay, let me do this. Oh, undo, undo, undo. <laughs> okay, so par is if you give me some doc annotation, I'll give you a doc annotation. I could just uh, put it inside parentheses. Okay, so we can do par of this, right? Um, happy? <laughs> okay, and now we need to do... Print sequence. 
A. Yeah. Okay, now what do we do here? Okay, so... Um, Let's put some spaces on the left and... I mean... Yeah, kind of need to I interleave mean, the two print derivations, which is kind of hard. Actually, I don't think that's hard. Wait, give me a second. I think we can do this. I think I saw something with like a flum flex box or something. I wonder what that is. Uh, flex group. Tends to layout document with flex alternatives following bar back. Uh, that's not it. Okay, let, let's. I, I'll I'll figure this out at, at some point. Uh, but let's not spend time now. Um, so how do we make it such that we understand what it is, though? Um, okay, so let, let's see. We need. Well, anyway, we need to do print derivation or left, right? Mm -hmm. We need to do the whole left tree somehow, right? Mm -hmm. um, and then we need to do the right tree, right? Yeah. Okay, let, let's do something like this, for example. Mm -hmm. um, Print something like Dodo, okay, branch here. Left. Right, and then break. It will look terrible, but it's it's. We'll, we'll, I'll figure. I'll, I'll make it better. Um, let me add multiple new lines just so we know. Yes, it's more like, new lines. Yeah, and then text right, and then also break, uh, and then we do this bit right where it's kind of the same thing. Yeah. Um, no. Uh, deriva print derivation right. Here we should put oh, yeah. right. right and then true. Yeah, let's, let's something see like what that. Happened. Uh, and I think that's all, right? Yeah. Uh, there's still a problem. Oh, Dodo. Okay. Okay. So let's do this and then. Oh, but we have multiples here, uh, so I need to do this. No, it's just one. Uh, yeah, yeah, but like I need to, to do this because it's a list. Even if it's a single element, it's still ah, a okay, list. Sure. Um, cannot match derivation. Oh, uh, okay. Um, Print sequence? No, no, no. Um, let me think. Um, okay, so if we, it's not print, it's, yeah, it's print derivation, but if we do this, then this type is a list of documents, so I think we need to traverse this uh, over this uh, data, what? Oh, it's traversable. So we should traverse, huh? Oh, but doc is not applicative. Uh, okay, so what if we map it? Um, okay, we map it and then we map print. Uh, and then we just block this, doesn't matter, because it's a list of strings. Um, show. Where is the break? There oh, because, break. okay, wait, 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 wait. This won't be, this doesn't work properly. Uh, traverse log over this. There we go. Ooh. Uh, but it had a branch. Yeah, it had a branch. Yeah, right and left. Here. But it's hard to read it. So we go like, but until here it's easy, right? But wait, you don't know where the branch is finishing. What do you mean? It starts from here. 
now how long is the how long is the right oh yeah yeah, yeah. put uh, some space so. um i'll put another uh, something like that yeah or we can also write Oh. Let's see how this looks first. Uh. <laughs> All of my <laughs> attempts there. Uh, there we go. And then as a traverse log, there we go. Uh, yeah, so like this is the right branch and this is the left branch, right? Okay, so let's see. So we start with this, right? Mm -hmm. And then we apply imp imp, mm -hmm. yeah, because it's this, right? Mm -hmm. um, and then we have this right branch, but you don't have, they have a different, no, it's good. like, right, the implication, they're all to P. Yeah, because you have this P here. Oh, okay. Okay, you have this P here. Because they don't see where you yeah. put your finger on my screen. I know. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, okay, fair enough. So I have this yeah, part where we say, okay, we st we have this thing, right? Uh, and then we uh, have uh, L zero imp where we put this thing here, right? Yeah. And then, and have then we have P and P, and then we're done, right? Because yeah. that's the that's case. that's a simple case. And then have this thing where uh, we start off with what? What? <laughs> you're, really, you're really enjoying this, aren't you? <laughs> yes, of course. <laughs> uh, okay, so we have this, and then what do we do here? Oh, we take this Q here, and yeah. we put it here, and we get an R, yeah. and then we get this R here, and we put it here, and we get a P, P and then we have this thing, and then we are... Well, we, we even what? take this P yeah. and put it here, because we can. Yeah. Right, because we don't have this as an ter early termination condition. Mm -hmm. We're just like, okay, let me... Break Hold my beer. Let me let, let me, me do break it. everything. Smash everything. <laughs> let me smash everything I can, and then we'll yeah. stop, right? So then it, it also gets a second R, even yeah. if we already have an R, it doesn't matter. We, yeah, we even have two free, of them here, yeah. right? Uh, we have as many R's as we want, yeah. uh, but we don't need any. <laughs> right. Cool. Okay. Awesome. So I mean, it's not even that hard to read now. It's not as nice as uh, it's hard on paper. It's to see this part. I know they cannot see. Okay, which part? This? This and... What do you mean? I mean, it's hard to see where the what are the children of this blah blah. So this and this, you have to search for the right. Yeah, well, anyway, it's me being picky. But <laughs> no, it's so, still so, okay. nice. So you know what I, will, I mean. I will figure it out yeah, and okay, make it nice. Yeah, you can make this homework. Right, I can do you this can as homework, work. right? Sorry. Um, okay, we have it. Okay, let me add a to do here. <laughs> no, handle the branch. I mean, hey. it's not ugly. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Cool. So, should we write some tests? Yeah. Oh wait, we've been we've actually been like fixing these things, but yeah. uh, I forgot to. Uh, Okay. Uh, Can I wait. Have some coffee, please. <laughs> yes, of course. So my terrible coffee that you hate. Yeah. <laughs> um, From your magic. Magic of the unicorn no, cup. No, should we <laughs> show it? <laughs> this is Vlad's cup. Well, you got it for me. Shh. <laughs> <laughs> But you didn't expect it that I would actually use it <laughs> yeah, every day on stream. <laughs> I took it as a joke. <laughs> uh, okay, cool. So we have this handle the branch better, which we want to do. Oh, you know what I want to do also? Give me one second. I want this. Uh, I want this thing. I don't want to write this every time. So let me let me add uh, log. Uh, So I want like for all, no, it's not even a for all, it's uh, 
Okay, so if you give me a formula A formula string, then I will give you some effect unit. Some some string. Yeah, let's do this. Um, okay, so this the result of this is a list of strings, so I could just uh, fold. Uh, yeah, I'll fix that in a second. Okay, and then instead of this, um, why would I take a list? I take a single formula. Build derivation. Uh, no, let's build derivation and then ah, okay, you take uh, formula to, and it's not even that, it's just formula to sequence. Here is a map, I think. Um, there we go. <laughs> what? What's wrong with this? You fix it. Hmm? Like. Take this and this and okay, it's done. It, it, it's fine, it's fine. It's fine. Uh, okay, let's write some tests. Yeah, I'll write tests, never mind. It works. Um, okay. Um, so let's see how we actually have pretty nice tests for the rest, right? Yeah. For the lambda calculus, you have pretty nice tests. Also for the parser, they're reasonable. I don't remember. <laughs> um, I remember just okay. So let's kind of so what what's the idea here? Let, let's kind of remember how ah, we write tests. Okay, I see, I see, I remember. Um, a bit. They had this thing like simplify our test, and we're doing like uh, okay, test variables do simplify nothing. But these are for lambda calculus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I kind of like we kind of follow the same idea oh. here anyway. Uh, uh, except instead of this, we'll, we'll use the like uh, sequence calculus. So what? So how do we want to 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 do um, the test to look like? Like we want something like uh, we just give it sequence and say this should be tautologies. Yeah. Start there, right? Yeah. Um, okay. Give me one second. So let me do this. Um, Let me rename the file. I'm really looking forward for next week now. For what? For next week. <laughs> because next week we're going to build the uh, lambda terms. And I think it will be quite easy. Yeah, we'll start, yeah, we'll start building the uh, sequence. Okay, so we don't need any of this. I think we need something like var, var yeah. for sure. But the rest already have like nice operators, so we don't need them. Uh, but it's from string to formula string, right? Yeah. And then it's just a variable. Um, okay, and then this is sequent, and then let's do uh, this, right? And um, give some which are not tautologies, no? Oh yeah, but this will be just the positive test, and then okay. we'll do like the negative mm -hmm. tests, uh, like some examples after. Um, Let's look. Let, let me search. Oh. So let me see. So I need to import sequence. Oh. Okay. So this should be fine, except this. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> so how do, do a, does a test look like? What's the type? Okay. So I can make the. Oh. Okay. Okay. <coughs> um. Okay. 
Okay, so we need something like uh, like what types are this? So uh, it's with the test. So we need to do what? Oh, someone search, right? So we need something like this, I guess. Okay, so we need to do something like. Uh, Well, let's see. Uh, okay, so if you give me a uh, formula string, right? I, I did not follow you until now, sorry. <laughs> yeah, that's I fine. So we just want a formula something. string. Okay, so just some input, and then we want to do tautology of uh, input. Uh, is true? Is there such a thing? And then we just need to do like, uh, let's do p in place p. As a formula? Yeah, the first version. Okay. Like the a first test. Okay. Uh, so we, sh we should do something like uh, var p implies var p, right? This should be the simplest thing okay. that we can prove, right? Um, <coughs> wait, assert, oh, that's fail. Oh, assert T should be okay. Assert T. Okay, let's do this should be equal and let's say this is equal to true and then let's see if there's a better function here uh, equal should equal as oh assert false why is there where is there no assert, assert true maybe assert is just meaning it's assert oh okay true. yeah assert yeah you're yeah. right it's just assert okay there we go uh, could not match boolean with type string. What do you mean? Oh, wait, it needs it also needs some string. Uh, um, just let's just let's just pass the input, okay? Oh, wait, but the input is so we need to transform input to string. So, oh, we can use the pretty print, right? We need print. Uh, print of print formula but why do you need the ah oh, you know J just so it's easier to to see when it's um uh, um whatever i'll fix these warnings why later why do you need in the assert uh, because when it fails you need to know what failed okay right so it will show you the formula which okay. failed um, okay, so let's add this and then let's add this and let's see that one is one works and one fails, right? Um, so where is so we have this thing? So let's do okay, let's quit this and then do Spargo test. Oh wait, it, it will not run it yet. Um, so we need to go to test. Uh, test slash main and then do sequence.suit um, and then import it as okay I still think we have this problem um, okay we need to remove that file and then let's try this again Oh yeah, yeah, it failed like uh, oh, okay. right. It failed on p in place q. Okay, right. and the first one. Uh, so one let, let, let's run it here because uh, running it, it inside Vim makes it weird. It, it looks weird, right? So one it first. failed on this. Uh, let, let's remove it and see that the other one works. Uh, okay. 
thing. No? Yeah, those are just some weird warnings. No, okay. it doesn't matter. Let's put more I have some, okay. I have some uh, challenging one for you. Can you, sh should I write them? Can you turn on the... Uh, sure. Uh, if I, there we go. Okay, try this one because it creates branch or uh, like or is commutative. Um. Um. this parse correctly by default? I think, yeah. That's, yeah, yeah, okay. Yay! Okay, try also and. Same but with and? Yeah. This one with all created um, several who? It didn't parse it correctly. The parentheses. Put parentheses and also on the other example. Let me see. If this or works, I'll, I'll check the. Uh... Okay, let me see something. But and then all were supposed to have the same. Uh, where is it? Yeah, that's what I thought. Uh... Yeah. Huh? But maybe it didn't parenthesize correctly also that one and it is true. Maybe it was proving A or B implies B or A and since B implies B is a tautology, it was true. I think this is what did the previous Wait. test. Did you understand that? No, Vlad. But did you understand by your test? Yeah, yeah, test? yeah. yeah, yeah. Let's try this then. Yeah, I think that's correct. No? Yeah. So, but this, this is parenthesized correctly. Yeah. So we have a bug. Yeah. Okay, let's look at it. Um, well, okay. now we can easily <gasps> look at it. What? In the East tautology, the, you have to have just at least one, which is true. Yeah, don't we have that? I think it's checking that everything. I don't think so. It's any. It's one of the lists. Okay. Uh. Okay, let's check. So we need to do what? Oh, we need to import it first. Okay, so s equals to var a. Or b. Oops. Mm -hmm. This, right? Mm -hmm. Uh, and then we need to do build derivation of s, and then we need to. Uh, there, there are two proofs. Print. Wait, we had that log. Um, a sequence to. S is a. Did you write s as a sequence? No, s is a formula now. Yeah, that's fine. You uh, applied. Yeah, do you know? Um, You wrote initially build derivation of s, and you were supposed to say build derivation. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. Uh, log of uh, s. Uh, Capital a. Yeah, yeah. Okay, <coughs> but that's just one. No. Ah, okay. This is one. This is two. Okay, this is a bug in your printer. Oh, because I don't. Um, yeah, it's not. It's actually. But it doesn't do the right thing. 
Uh, give me one second. Let me, let me fix this because it's hard for me to read. Uh, where is it? Mm, yeah, it's annoying to fix now. So wait. It should have it should have four. Right, and so this is one of them, right? Okay, and then but what's this? Oh, so we, we huh? Where's the B? But it is not correct. No, but like what happened to the B here? Why is it gone here? It shouldn't branch before. Oh, okay. It's, it's just that here we have A and here we have yeah. B. Okay. Um, and then B implies A and then A implies A. So this should be good, right? No. Why not? Because this, this is a leaf and it's not. Oh, right. Wait. Yeah, that, this is. It will not be able to prove it like this, because you are supposed. You, so you are supposed to branch, at the la to 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 split into proofs at the last. So he was supposed to handle um, the ore on the left hand side before that. Oh. So it matters the order, actually. So let's move, move the, um, just only this or is the problem. Okay, so this, this when you split should go on oh, the like last this? one. Yeah. You should do, do that as the last resort. Like here? Even after the sequence, even after the leaf. What do you mean after well, the leaf? It doesn't yeah, matter because okay. they yeah, won't load it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Try now. Okay. Because it should have four proofs, I think, or uh, or three, yeah, something. Oh, I already had that. Never mind. Just need var and s. Um, wait. Let's see if it works now. Okay. No, it doesn't How we don't need to read it anyway have? it's hard to see okay so we have, can you put some okay. how many so it's one two three three is it something else above and i, I think, think four three. or is it three two three no i four. think there are four yeah yeah actually i'm stupid yeah there are four because they're all combinations of among a and B. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right, and only one is successful. Yeah. You so you get all A implies A, A implies B, B implies A, B implies B in the leaves, mm -hmm. and only in one case Manage you have A implies A, B implies B. Mm -hmm. And I, I, I told you this like week, but you don't listen to me. I told you mm -hmm. that this, when you destruct the the or on the right, should be the last resource to do it. Um, told me two weeks ago. Uh, yeah. Okay. Okay, we should have more tests then. <laughs> what time is it? Okay. Okay, let's do. Okay, do A. <laughs> you should always listen. Yeah. <laughs> okay, uh, let's do A implies B implies A. That's simple. Oh, I have another tricky one. Okay. Can you turn on the tablet? Oh, it isn't. Sorry. Uh, can you turn off the tablet? this check this out check this out <laughs> <laughs> hey what have you got so ah, 
No, this is the one you okay. said earlier that you could do as a noun. RC. Uh, it's going well. We, we've, I think we fixed most bugs, if not all. We <laughs> uh, and now we're writing some tests. So pretty successful, I would say. Hello, Barry, by the way. Uh, so let's see. And then it goes to A implies B. No, A implies C. Mm -hmm. And uh, well, I, uh, yeah, yeah. we need parentheses here. No, I don't know. Just better say B Sorry. C, right? Mm -hmm. I don't think we need them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, we might. It's fine. It's fine. I think you need them there. Yeah, you do. You <laughs> Okay, let's do contraction. The what now? The ac contraction axiom. Which is the what now? A plus A plus B plus A plus B plus A. Okay, sure. Let's check some which are classical, but they're not. Does this thing keep? Um, so tautology is something that is always true regardless of uh, what a and b are. So essentially, um, when you say a implies a, that's a tautology because that's always true regardless of whether a is true or false. Um, it also if you do the curry howard isomorphism, it means that you could define a function for it, right? Um, uh, yeah. And I think for, yeah, it's kind of like the opposite of having a, like, it, it essentially it means that it has a, uh, um, it has a, a an inhabitant, right? A term through through Curry Howard, right? Uh, but in, in logic, it, it means that it's always true, uh, and in like through the Curry Howard isomorphism, it, it means that uh, we have a term. Uh, this is this will not wait. hold the last one. Uh, a, you need a, some parentheses. A implies B. Wait, what did I do here? So A implies. So the other one worked. Oh, so you. No, I didn't. Here. I didn't write it yet. So give me a second. So a implies A implies B implies. Uh, I didn't add these parentheses because it already okay, does okay. it by default. Okay. Cool. And then we have, okay, we have A implies B. A implies B uh, implies this, this A. This right? It's Pierce law. Uh, and then implies A. Um, it's Pierce law should fail. Yeah, there's no way we can prove this, I don't think. Yeah. Okay, let's try. Can I can I write another one? Sure. C implies A implies C implies B. Okay. I think this is uh, this is called this in, in Haskell. Uh, so let's see, var c uh, var a uh, implies. I don't need that parenthesis though. Var c implies var b. Then uh, the result is. Well, I could even do var c here. Let's write it 
in this form. Uh, and then we get uh, A and B, right? So var A Okay, I mistyped. Okay, there we go. A okay. Uh, I wrote two more for you just to be sure. A implies A or B? Okay, sure. Uh, so A implies. A or B, um, and then A to C goes to B to C goes to A or B goes to C. <coughs> oh, it's the opposite of the top one. Um, so A to C goes to um, B to C. goes to A uh, or B goes to C. So this is essentially either, right? The yeah. last one you wrote. It's essentially either, right? I'm looking for more examples with uh, disjunction. Right? Do you see how this is either? Uh, yeah. Talking to chat. Uh -huh. um, right? Because, like, give me a function from A to C, a function from D, B to C, on either A, B, and I'll give you back A, C. Right? So, this is essentially like either. Uh, like, literally either. Yeah, that's fine. Like I, I'll write, I, I, I'll, I'll add more tests myself. It's fine. Okay. And if you want, you can prepare some more tests for next yeah, time. And like we can start ten minutes, like writing some tests and remembering what we did today. Like, right? Like we can write yeah. a few tests. And then we go into. The and then we start doing like implementing the terms. What we wanted to do, exactly mm -hmm. at the end. Yeah, looking forward for that. It will be interesting to see how we test that, though. How we test the terms. We asked the chat to give us them some implementations, and we. See if we get the same yeah, but like, okay, so like I can give you some examples. These are good examples. Uh, the question is, how do we test whether they're correct or not? What correct? The, the resulting term. We look at them. <laughs> no, I <laughs> yeah, know, sure. but I don't like, know. Of course, we'll start by looking at them, right? But after that, uh, we probably want to create some tests for them specifically, right? So the this term, the result of finding this term we should be... write a... Type checker, but even then, even if the type is correct, that is not necessarily a guarantee. I think. Well, for, yeah, I, I think, think you're for, right. Yeah. For our restriction, it is. Yeah, yeah, we could write a type checker. Because there's nothing else you could do. But writing a type checker would be its own thing. <laughs> yeah, that would be next. Well, like for example, we, we could do like something else. For example, we could do like we could say, okay, if we define this function, right? We could give it a list of inputs and a list of expected outputs when we call it, right? So we could say like, okay, simplify this term using like, uh, like. I'm not following. So for example, this like so if we go from this to some like term t, right? Mm -hmm. So let's say we, we get some term, some term called term, mm -hmm. right? We can do we can create a lambda expression like term uh, lambda x dot a lambda x dot b and. Uh, Ah, you want to reduce it somehow. Yeah, yeah. And, and then and then okay, call the reducer and see that okay, if we do this and if if you pass yeah, this okay. input, you should get okay, that okay, output, okay, right? Okay, as okay, as the result. And we could test it through simplification. Mm -hmm. And that's where like all of our code kinda comes together, I think. Right? The simplifier yeah. with the proof search with the yeah. uh, proof to term, right? Yeah. We kinda like everything goes together and then we can because uh, this is actually like running it, yeah, right? We exactly. will execute it and see that it works. Yeah. That's gonna be cool. <laughs> um, okay, so okay, my homework is to add more tests and to uh, okay, let me do. But it. add also negative tests. Well, we had the we had Pierce law. You should search for some. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you 
all also have that problem with the branching. And yeah, I have the yeah. fix that and also fix when you when we have <laughs> <laughs> like a list of things. Yeah. 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 <laughs> you should do this and this and this and this. And no, take away the garbage totally and <laughs> <laughs> uh, handle branch better. And we have here uh, to do <laughs> fold does not quite do. Um, okay. Yeah, there we go. Mm -hmm. Cool. Uh, yeah, let's do a commit. Okay. Um. Okay. Put the link again in the. Yep, I was going to do it, but I did, but it's not ready yet. I needed to push it. There we go. Okay, so if you want to play with the implementation, that, that's the link. You can just download it and then just like if you have the pure script tooling ready, you can just run it. Uh, yeah. I, I just pushed all the changes, so that should be pretty easy. Uh, should we should we what? raid somebody? Huh? Should we raid somebody? What do you mean? Oh, raid. Uh, yeah, let's see if there's anybody streaming right now. What are you going to do tomorrow? Uh, so tomorrow I have no idea what I'm doing. Okay, your homework. <laughs> um, Maybe. yeah, I could do my homework because if I don't do it tomorrow, then Thursday is uh, what is was Thursday? Thursday is teaching Thursdays, um, and then Friday is Haskell Friday, so I won't be doing this. So then it will have to be like Sunday or or something or Saturday. And I actually haven't been streaming the past two weekends, so yeah. we'll see. I think I will stream this weekend at least one day, but uh, yeah, I think I'll do. I think we'll do homework tomorrow. Okay. Just while it's fresh now in my memory. <laughs> um, okay, so let's see if there's anybody streaming FP right now. Nope, nobody's streaming right now. Sorry. Uh, okay, so then okay. I guess that's it for for today. Thank you Thank all you. for for watching and uh, <laughs> hashtag set. <sad>. Mm. <laughs> uh, yeah, and at this hour it's usually either like I think Vince streamed once at this hour or twice, yeah. and then uh, there's uh, Andre Identity Jazz who does the Idris. But yeah, I think his schedule is a bit more random. Um, okay, cool. So yeah, thank you very much for watching, and I'll I'll see you I see you folks tomorrow. See you bye next bye. week. Bye. <laughs> mm.